My name is Rob Priest, I'm lecturing in Modern European History here at Royal Holloway and my research looks at the culture and ideas of 19th century Europe. Within that I have a particular interest in the history of France and I'm especially interested in debates surrounding religion and particularly the challenges to religion that were posed during the 19th century. One of the things that I'm most interested in, in my teaching, and this is something that draws very much on the way that I do my own research, is using as wide a variety of sources as possible. So in my courses here at Royal Holloway, I, like a lot of the other lecturers, try to use a really eclectic range of sources and try to engage students with them, whether that's film, drama, novels, works of political thought, all of these things come together in my courses. And so, for example, in my uh, Group 2 course that I'm starting next year, this is a course for second and third year undergraduates, we'll be looking not just at some of the great works of political philosophy, works by Rousseau, um, works by the Abbé Sierre, a great revolutionary, but also um, some of the great novels of the 19th century, um, works like Les Miserables, which has been recently made into a, a number of successful films, and also some of the most early works of silent film that were produced during the First World War in France. And what we're doing is trying to think about how all these different sorts of sources knit together uh, into a kind of common debate, how they looked at common concerns that preoccupied French people in this period. One of the things that I think is really exciting for students coming to study at university level, particularly at a place like Royal Holloway, is that you're working with active research historians and that means an opportunity to work with primary sources on a week-to-week -week basis. This is the real kind of the real nitty-gritty, the coal face of history and in my courses for example I'm often bringing texts that I'm working with on the publications that I'm producing at the moment into the classroom, sometimes translating them so that students can read them with me and what I really treasure from that and what I think students get a lot out of as well is an opportunity to sort of feed into the research that's going on. You know I'm often stimulated by the discussions that I have with students students often bringing a totally new perspective on the text that I've been looking at for months or years and I take that away and incorporate that into my research. And at the same time I'm often bringing texts um, from the research level into the classroom and letting students see what is actually the latest stuff that's going on in the field and that's stuff that you just don't have access to um, at A level. One of the reasons I'm particularly interested in debates surrounding religion is because I think in recent years it's become um, once again a major point of contention and debate in our own society and also in societies in Europe more generally. We've seen recently um, debates over the rise of Islamic fundamentalism or attempts to ban um, certain religious symbols such as the burqa in France and even more recently um, the appalling massacre um, in Paris um, of the, of the uh, cartoonists at the magazine Charlie Hebdo. And so what I'm interested in partly is tracing back these debates over the status of religion in European society back to what I think was in many ways a really pivotal period for that which was this period straight after the French Revolution in the 19th century.